we're not planning on moving today. No. The weather report said that it was going to basically be pouring with rain all day. With high winds. With high winds. And when we got up this morning, that is exactly what it was. It was very windy. Yep. It was pouring with rain. Ryan got wet when he took the dog out for her morning walk. Yeah. She got wet as well. Yeah. <laughs> we had the fire roaring because it was a bit cold in the boat. And it's 11 like, o'clock came. We looked out the window. It's beautiful it's, sunshine. Barely any wind to speak of. Yeah, it's just like a nice breeze. It's actually a really Crest nice breeze. day now. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows if that's going to suddenly change because, you know, this is England, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at the moment we're planning just to move the last three miles down to the locks because we need to use the services that are there. Yeah. Um, and if the weather changes by then, we'll probably moor up in that and I don't think we'll get there in time to use the I locks. I don't think we're going to get there in time because you have to be there before one o'clock and it's just past 11 now. Yeah. And I don't think we'll get there in time to get down the locks once we've done all our services and stuff and that, so... Yeah. But if we do, and the weather is still like this... We'll go down. We'll go down. So and that'll be the point where we'll get caught in a, in, torrential, in a torrential downpour. Torrential downpour with high winds. And yeah. <laughs> Spitting on us. <laughs> I don't think it's going to last very long. But, well, that's with the camera inside for now. We might, yeah, we might put the camera inside and we might need to get our wet weather gear. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was going so well. <laughs> but you still see blue sky over there. Yeah, there's still blue sky around. That's why I don't think it'll last that long. The clouds don't look too dark. Hopefully, it's just a very brief. Yeah. Stint of rain. Our blue sky is quickly disappearing. <laughs> At least it's not raining. It's not raining right now. It did rain a little bit there. But the wind's really picked up. The wind is starting to pick up. But we're only about Mile a mile away from the top of the locks now, so we're gonna try and push on and get to the top so that we can sort our services out. And then probably just moor up. And then the hopefully day. find somewhere to moor above the locks so that we don't have to move <laughs> down them.
we made it. <laughs> we are just before the locks, not too far away from top of the locks. Uh, well, more like maybe a quarter of a mile, not even a quarter of a mile, maybe a fifth of a mile. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, we're not far. We're not far. <laughs> uh, we've got a moor up here for the time being. It's getting quite a bit windier. It has yep. picked up. And there are some dark clouds coming across, so we might get some more rain. Yeah. Which it's been promising, so. As you say, that's getting darker and darker. I know. <laughs> Foreboding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's us. That's us done for today. And the next time we get some relatively nice weather, we will continue down the Bosley lock locks. flight. Yeah. 12 locks. 12 locks. Yeah. Easy. Easy. He says. <laughs> Before disaster strikes. <laughs> turned out to be quite a lovely day today. Blue skies, no wind, no rain. <laughs> Much better than the previous few days. So today we are going to go down the Bosley Lock Flight, which is 12 locks, yep. all downhill. Yay. All pretty close together. Very easy. Shouldn't be too strenuous of a day. <laughs> it should be a nice day. Yeah, especially in this weather. It's yeah really nice i think there's some nice views down the lock flight as well we took a little bit of a walk yesterday with the dog yeah and it was quite pretty so should be a really nice day should be
gotten through the Bosley Lock flight in record time. It's yeah. not even 12 o'clock yet. <laughs> and we set <laughs> off. We set off from our mooring spot at 10. And 10, we had to use yeah. the services and fill up on water. That was only about 15 minutes. Yeah, well, by the time we cruised up, used the services, it probably would have been close to about maybe 10.30. Yeah. Anyway, we did it really fast. We had some volunteer lock keepers helping us out, so that was really good. Yeah. Saved us a bit of time, and there were no boats coming up the other way, which I was actually quite surprised about. I thought on a day like today, especially oh, yeah. after the last couple of days being horrible so weather, that it would be quite busy and we'd see people coming up the other way, but yeah. there's been nobody. <laughs> So, seeing as we've made such good time coming down those locks, we just continue on. We're just going to keep going and see how far we get today. Yeah. exceptionally good time today yeah we were expecting to just get through the locks go a little ways to Congleton and then we were going to stop there for the night originally but we got through the locks so quickly we got almost all the way to the junction near Hare Castle Tunnel yeah we're yeah. about two two and a half miles away from the junction uh, where Hare Castle Tunnel is which we will probably go tomorrow the only reason why we stopped today is because we need fuel and the, the fuel is just here at this marina but we can't go till tomorrow <laughs> well we could go now but we may as well stop anyway there's yeah. plenty of moorings just here so we figured we'll stop for today and then tomorrow morning when we head off we'll stop at the marina get some fuel and then continue on down towards uh, Hare Castle Tunnel we have made a booking for Hare Castle Tunnel because it is November now and we have to uh, make bookings for the winter time. Mm -hmm. So we're booked in for Friday. Yep. Friday morning. Friday morning. Real early Friday morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we're normally only maybe getting out of bed at eight o'clock. 
Oh yeah, we, we do. We do a lot of work with um, people in Australia, so we're usually up late at night with the time differences. Yeah. It's going to be a nightmare. Is there even such thing as an eight o'clock in the morning? <laughs> hope you've liked this video if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye bye